Hi everyone, uh, my name is Damon Bonsler, CEO of the British Design Fund, and I'm joined here today by Martin, founder of NextGen. How are you doing, Martin? All good, thanks, Damon. Appreciate the call. Thanks for your time. I know, I know it's yeah, busy. No you're kind of, uh, you're, you are in the process of launching your product. We'll hear all about that. A uh, few late nights coming up. So uh, look, to get started, do you want to just tell us a bit about NextGen, how you, how you, how you started it, and what the product does? Yeah, sure. Um, basically, uh, Next Gen Plumbing Products is was born out of um, pure frustration from when I was uh, working with my dad, who was a plumber. Um, we had uh, everything we done. There was always an issue, and I always kept questioning why don't we, why don't we change it? Why can't we make things different? And it was just um, it was when we got to a to drain a water cylinder and this little bit of rubber that stopped it and cost us over three hours. And I said, this is this is madness. Let's try and design a part that you know that doesn't break essentially um that was how it was born it was um it was because of the the problems that plumbers face on a day-to-day -day basis that made me sort of create next gen plumbing products and oh, um so tell us well, what is that first what's the first product that you're in the process of launching this week and um, <coughs> you know, roughly what does it do okay well every house um has a water cylinder or radiator or radiators on the wall or boilers um, we basically um, there's a part that keeps failing um, on regular occasions um, and to stop this we we looked at the problem and, and easily identified that um, this could be fixed with just changing materials and so we started playing about with different materials and testing it and realized that this this could work because it doesn't um, it saves plumbers time and um, and it was around about the same price as what was already out on the market so we, we knew we was um we was on the right track to launch our product. Um, that was that was basically it. The two key um, the two key sort of uh, design um, MOs mission objectives were um, um, it had to it had to be functional. It had to solve the problem, but also had to be um, the same price or cheaper um, than what's already out there to try and convince people to move away from the old style. And I think we achieved that with the uh, next gen drain valve and next gen insert. So your so your customers are primarily going to be be, be plumbers, right? Yeah. So tradesmen. So how do, what's your? We want to talk a bit about your route to market. So how does your product end up in the hands of plumbers? Okay. Well, basically, um, what we realised was to try and communicate with all the plumbers. We the, the social media was was where we, it was all happening, um, particularly Instagram. Um, there's a huge movement now going on in in the plumbing sort of community where they're going back to um, their roots essentially, where they they're, they're sort of stripping out the the plastic pipes and going back to um, copper. Um, it's yeah, I think it's more of a fashion um, sort of statement now when exposed copper is 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 there for everyone to see and they they, um, they like looking at that. So that's um, that's basically it. So that's, driven, that's driven sort of Instagram activity. Like yeah, plumbers. plumbers just take pictures of, of their work now because it is. I mean, you can. I mean, you see some of the images and some of the pipe work. It is is pure art. I mean, it, it's. Um, it's it's only in the last few years that copper really has, has come back into it because a lot of people are having issues with um, the plastic pipes in people's houses. Um, so they're, they're going back to the traditional way of, of of piping a house out. So that's your so that's your sort of direct to uh, Instagram is right. and, and Twitter. Instagram is is huge for us. Um, uh, we get so many people. Um, we we communicate via Instagram and, and Twitter. We don't really have any um, sort of email. Uh, communication with, with plumbers um it's 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 definitely a uh, twitter and instagram because um uh the power of the, of the of the retweet it really it does it does work yeah and i guess a lot of these guys want to see videos of how you install stuff as well and you share it with them. yeah because um the good thing about the instagram and 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 the, and the twitter you can post a video of, of of your product and you know you know people say a picture speaks a thousand words or a video speaks a sort of a, a, a million images yeah. sort of thing because people can see it they can almost um Straight away, you, you post up a, a, a video of, of you using it, and the questions keep just to fly in, and people requesting samples and, 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 and liking the product. Um, uh, lost, lost you a second there, Martin. That's, yeah. I, I think we've got the most of it. Um, and, then, and then, do you want to talk a little bit about kind of your, like your wholesale routes to market? <coughs> I get the B2C channel, right? You go via your web. Um, yeah. And then how else to sort of get into um, Well, plumbers um, are normally, <coughs> well, most plumbers buy from. Um, Sort of plumbing, whole, uh, Walsley Plum Centre, Screw Fix, Tool Station. It, it, for parts that we're selling, they rarely buy on online uh, via Amazon or, or, or eBay and then sell channel. So it's, it's very, very much a traditional sales channel model for plumbers because um, 
um, it's very difficult for them to carry stock on their on their van of everything. So if they they come to a job and they find that they haven't got that part, they they just go to the local plumbers merchants to pick up the part. So we knew that we had to go into the merchants to to, to make that happen. Um, luckily, we we managed to find a company that um, sort of fulfilled all our needs in terms of um, uh, where they have access to, and that's Tesla UK. Uh, we did we we were talking to some other distributors, but um, uh, we we sent some of the details off to the British Design Fund, um, and they sort of done a little bit of due diligence for us, and and um, and they found that uh, these these guys were a bit more of a match for us, um, so we were happy to sign up with them um, for the UK exclusive. Uh, they have they're in all the places we want to be, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then look, we can't avoid talking about it. It's the uh, the, what everyone will remember 2024 right so um yeah. so how, like how is how has covid covid sort of impacted your business um the only uh, it affected us just uh slightly in terms of production um because all the factories shut down um, and it was very hard to get parts um and samples and r d sort of uh rolling still uh, that's really been the only effect for us because um even during these times of you know lockdown and and you know, COVID-19, um, people still need their boilers fixed. People still need their heating and hot water. Um, so it hasn't really affected us. It's, it's, it's very much like any other industry uh, in terms of electricians, uh, plumbers, roofers. It's, it's, an, it's an essential uh, uh, service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and look, um, at the British Design Fund, like we're all about sort of user-centered design. So do you want to talk a little bit about, and I know you're, you're a busy guy in terms of product development all the time, you can give us, you can maybe talk a bit about that later on, but actually with your design process, when you're thinking about, you know, solving a problem, coming up with these products, like how, how, how is it that you're able to make these, like keep that kind of user-centered design as you're going through it, like the plumbers at the forefront of your mind? Um, well, we spoke to a lot of plumbers, um, and my dad was, was one of them. Um, um, what they like is something that saves them time. Um, if they can get to tools or parts that save them um, time during the day, they can do more work during the day. So um, especially the self-employed plumbers who, if they don't do the jobs, they don't get paid. Mm. So we, the, the thought of design, um, going back earlier on, there's a couple of key things. It has to be sort of same price or, um, or cheaper and it had to, uh, to solve a problem. But um, we, we quickly found out when we spoke to uh, plumbers uh, via the, the social channels that um, it needs to speed their, their day up or it make, needs to make it easier for them. And, and, and for us, the part design was centered around them, them sort of core objectives. And, and, and when we, we did that, we, uh, we managed to get a part that uh, is, is, uh, it, it doesn't um, stick when you unscrew. All the others do, ours doesn't. And that saves a plumber um, just a lot of hassle. Basically, yeah. a lot of hassle. Yeah. Um, and uh, look, lastly, that we sort of touched on it just then, is there anything you can kind of share that doesn't, you know, nothing too sensitive? Or um, sensitive or well, what we what we can, I guess, what we can say was, um, is the design for the insert. Um, it can be used for multiple. Um, the technology behind it can be used for multiple um, sort of uh, multiple designs on stuff. So we can look at. Um, stuff not just in the plumbing industry um but but, but some of the, um some of the problems plumbers are facing we can solve it by adapting uh the next gen uh, insert to use on certain products that plumbers use every day so that uh, we can always it's, it's just another revenue stream for us um just using the technology we developed we were very sort of focused on the drain valve but as we sort of got that got that uh, rolling and, and launched um we quickly realized that um you know, we, there's so many different uh, uses for this uh, for this part uh, in in the plumbing industry. So we're going to definitely going to explore that um, again using the same sort of design, sort of ethos, and sort of the free core, which is um, it's got to be the same price. Um, it's got to solve the issue, and um, it's got to save the plumber time or hassle. And we've and, and we think we can do that with quite a few products. Yeah, that's a good that's a good mantra to have right martin uh, i know you are busy you are you are mid mid launch this week so i'll, I'll let you go thanks a lot we're, we're obviously super excited to be working with you and, uh, and supporting you we look forward yeah to no I, I appreciate all the help you guys have given me um at uh, least if it wasn't for these guys uh, the project just wouldn't have gone forward so the it was really um it was really the only way for us to continue so i'm really appreciative of that glad we're, glad we're there right martin i'll let you go thanks a lot for your time all best all right i appreciate it Damon. Yes.